Okay, hi there. Welcome to the, the second in our series of, of updated videos looking at externalities and market failure. Let's spend a few minutes thinking about some examples of negative externalities from production. Now, negative externalities occur when production, the supply of goods and services, imposes external costs on third parties, and those third parties are outside of the market and there's not necessarily any appropriate compensation paid. Now, in a world of negative externalities from production, for example, air pollution from factories or fertilizers from farming, waste emitted into the atmosphere or onto the ground from industrial production, space junk, noise pollution from transport. In these examples of negative externalities from production, this causes the social cost to be higher than the private cost of production. There are also negative externalities from consumption. So when we consume goods and services, we can also impose third party costs. And again, there are spillover costs from our consumption decisions um, generated and received in the consumption of goods and services. And again, they affect third parties, bystanders, not involved in the transaction. Now, market failure happens when the free market price does not take into account these negative externalities. So pollution from car use, for example, the massive increase, increase in household waste products, the throwaway society, noise pollution, air pollution from people smoking, for example, uh, the social cost, the external and social costs of gambling addiction are hugely important, or alcohol addiction, litter damaging our beaches or common grazing land and our waterways, and indeed the external costs from high levels and growing levels of obesity. So loads of examples of consumption externalities potentially. Plastic pollution is one of the most important environmental issues of the age. Here's a survey which is conducted every year across 50 countries um, where the, the organisation Break Free from Plastic, a pressure group, they collected something like th a third of a million pieces of plastic waste and they basically, if they can identify a brand, uh, then they label it. And Coca-Cola uh, had by far the largest footprint, plastic footprint, uh, in this, this analysis, followed by consumer goods giant Nestle, Colgate, Palmolive, and obviously Unilever. So a lot of these companies are now coming into quite significant pressure uh, to reduce their plastic footprint. There is, of course, a global industry in the exportation and uh, importation of plastic waste for recycling and repackaging and uh, in some cases dumping. So Japan and Germany, United States are significant net exporters of plastic. India, Laos, Malaysia, Vietnam and Turkey are significant net importers of plastic packaging. Huge debate about the externalities of in particular single use non-recyclable plastic packaging. Another good example would be some like traffic congestion. Here's a here's a, a survey from Tom Tom traffic index showing the cities in the world with the highest average traffic congestion levels in 2020. Moscow uh, came top, Mumbai, Bogota, Medellin, Istanbul, uh, many of course fast growing emerging market countries with very very quickly growing populations with a huge congestion issue. So negative externalities from production, negative externalities from consumption. No diagrams in this video, no diagrams yet. Let's just think about uh, some, some simple multiple choice questions. Have a go at these to check your understanding of the topic so far. Here we go. Here's the first question. Which of the following represents the additional costs accruing to an agent from the consumption of or production of an extra unit of a good or service? So which is the additional costs to an agent from consumption or production? Press the pause button if you want and always just press play when you want the answer again. And the correct answer here is A, the marginal private cost or the internal cost of production or consumption. Question two, a householder fits a new security system for his house. What's that an example of? A householder fits a new security system for his house. What's that an example of? Well, that is an example of a private cost. Uh, there's a cost of sitting, fitting the new security system. You can also make a case for saying there's a private benefit from the safety that the person then feels, but it's going to cost to install. Next question. The safety that the householder enjoys as a result of his new security system 
is an example of what? And the answer there is D, the private benefit. So the utility, the satisfaction, the joy, the benefit we get from consuming or producing a good or service is called the private benefit. Question four, <clears throat> the extra safety your neighbours might experience because criminals tend to stay away from neighbourhoods that have a lot of alarm systems installed. What's that an example of? Question four, what do we think for question four? The extra safety for, for neighbours of being in a, in a neighbourhood where lots of burglar alarms and security systems are installed. I think the answer there would be C, an external benefit. That would be an external benefit from somebody's consumption. Uh, who knows, should you pay for that? Living in, in an area with uh, good security. Next question, question five. What is an example of the four here? What's an example of a negative externality? Take a moment here. What's the example? What's the question here? So what's the answer to question five? What's an example of a negative externality? And the answer there, the best answer is C. The noise levels from aircraft will be a negative externality due to the expansion of the large city airport. OK, question six. When will an economic activity create an external cost? This goes back to the last video where we defined these terms. When will an economic activity create an external cost? What do you think for question six? And the correct answer there is B, when the social cost minus the private cost is positive. In other words, uh, there's an external cost that you have to add on uh, to the private cost to get the social cost. Question seven, what would not not be classified as an externality. So not everything is an externality. It needs to happen outside the market transaction between two agents. So what would not be classified as an externality? What do you think for question seven? A slightly harder question, this one. The right answer is B. The entry of a new firm increases the profits of existing firms. All of the other things are externalities. Attractive for some neighbouring houses, uh, traffic congestion, negative externality, smoking, uh, cost, cost the economy, of course. The entry of new firms into an, uh, of a new firm is just simply it's inside the transaction, it's inside the market in that sense. So it's not an externality. OK, so there's some examples. Uh, what we'll do in the next video is work through negative externalities from production. And we're going to work through the really key analysis diagram step by step.